Hey, I don't know you. How'd you get in here? By boat, from Fesher. And you expect me to believe that? Look at the beach down there. That's my boat. Hm. I'll let you through. But if you cause any trouble, you'll have us woodcutters to deal with. Got it? I'm looking for Duranus. Where can I find him? In the pub or in his room. You best ask Murdra. She'll know where he's at. Murdra? The landlady here. Just go in. You'll see her. All dead. And somehow it doesn't even touch me anymore. Aha! A new guy. Who let you in here? One of the woodcutters from the farm. Just so you know, normally I decide who comes in. I know. I'll have to deal with the woodcutters. Right. Don't you forget that. I'm looking for Duranus. A noble man? Really think he'd receive a bloke like you, would he? We'll see. Just tell me where I can find him. Sitting upstairs in his room, our noble man is. Reading what he always does. I even got to bring his food up to him, I have. Go up the stairs and out onto the balcony. Then turn right. That's where his room is. If I ever lay my hands on him... Don't trust them. Not a single one of them. Are you Duranus? Yes. What do you want? I'm searching for an ancient temple up in the mountains. Yes, I heard about a temple up there. Where exactly? Don't know, but there is an archive of old maps in the fortress at Silver Lake. If ever there was a place to find a clue, it's there. So how do I get to Silver Lake? Not at all, at the moment. Brigands have occupied the bridge to Stuark. But the people here are trying to think of a way to deal with the brigands. Help them! Perhaps they'll help you. Who's working on the brigand problem here? Murdra, the landlady here, I'm sure. And I think Rorta has a plan too. Rorta? A guild fighter. He was here just a moment ago, making vague insinuations about secret negotiations with some of the brigands. Where's Rorta now? He's headed for the old Cedariffian Watchtower, to the south of here on the beach. Did you go see our noble man then? Yes. He suggested that I should lend a hand to the people around here. How are things with you? Anything I can do for you? Mm, why not? You look like a big strong lad, you do. What do you want me to do? I'm starting to run out of mead, and it'll be a while till the next supply comes. I see. You want me to get some for you? From Garve, one of the woodcutters. He must have a few barrels left. Would you get me two? I'll go to Garve and get you the mead. Ah, the guests will be pleased about that, and so will I. Where can I find Garve? Out through the gate, then down the path to the right, past the old watchtower. That's where his hut is. I heard you had a plan for dealing with the brigands. Would you tell me? Ha! Looking to spy on me, are you? Forget it. I'd like to have a look at your wares.
Garv is a woodcutter too. What do you think of him? Yep, he's a woodcutter too, working for the Baron. Watch out though, he's a drunk and a pretty nasty guy. Drowned his cat in a bucket not that long ago. That should tell you everything. Where can I find Garth? Follow the path downwards to the right here and go past the old watchtower. You'll find Garv's hut there. But keep your eyes peeled if you go to Garv's. The goblins, you see. Your rota? Damn straight, that's me. I heard you had a plan for the brigands. You want to tell me about it? Sure. Listen, if the brigands were just robbers, I'd slaughter them in no time. But some of them are friends, and I can't slaughter them too, can I? You've got friends among the brigands? Yes, damn it. Lorne and the other fishermen. They joined Darton and his henchmen because murderers sold their boats while they were at war. <laughs> the poor bastards. Why did murderers sell their boats? I don't know exactly. I wasn't there. Then why doesn't murderer give the fisherman the gold she got for the boats? Well, when Lorne came back from the war and heard what murderer had done, he went mad and stole her wooden leg. <laughs> wooden leg? What wooden leg? Murderer's late husband, Belgor, had a wooden leg. 
Murderer cares a lot about that leg. Yeah, it was a gift from the king, a souvenir. What do I know? <laughs> Women. Anyway, the two don't talk to each other anymore, right? So, what's your plan? Lorne takes the wooden leg back to Murderer, and Murderer gives the fishermen their gold for their boats. Then everything's fine. The fishermen can go fishing again, and I can slaughter them damn brigands at last. <laughs> Bingo! Then go talk to Lorne. Well, I did. But he doesn't trust me, because I'm staying at the Cleaved Maiden with Murdra. <laughs> Do you want me to talk to Lorne? Yeah, why not? You talk to Lorne. You're new around here and neutral, right? Where is he? Up there on the old watchtower, moping over his boats and staring at the damn sea. <laughs> You're new here. Yes, why? Then maybe you're not in yet with that murderer. Maybe you'd be willing to help a desperate fisherman. What do you want me to do for you? I've lost a wooden leg. Sounds daft, I know. But I was furious at the time and pretty drunk. Can you look for it for me? Why don't you do that yourself? The goblins are getting more and more cheeky. And I'm a fisherman, not a fighter. But you look as if you know how to handle a weapon. I'll help you with that wooden leg. Could you at least give me a few hints that might help me in the search? It's somewhere on the hill, east of here, on Hog's Rock. Oh, uh, smell of smoke and goblin piss, I remember that. And in the distance you can see the old watchtower. I'll go and look for this leg then. Are you going to stay here? No, I'm off to my hut on the beach. You'll find me there. Rota told me about the wooden leg. He thinks it's the one off Murdra's dead husband. Yes, that's right. After my argument with Murdra, I nicked it from her for revenge. Now you want to give the wooden leg back? I want to exchange it for something else. You want to exchange the wooden leg for gold? Murdra may be attached to Belgor's leg, but believe me, she's much more attached to her gold she is. I'll think of something that she's not quite so attached to. What do you want to swap the wooden leg for? Hey, I barely know you. Bring me that wooden leg, then we'll talk.
You look like a big strong man. More brawn than brains, anyway. Insulting people with brawn doesn't show much in the way of brains. What do you want? Forgive me, I beg your pardon. I'm looking for courage, not cleverness. Because of those bloody goblins. What about the- Those damned creatures have taken over my glade and are eating my herbs. Can you help me? Tell me where your glade is and I'll take care of the goblins. It's directly north of here, not far at all. Oh, there you are. Is my glade safe again? Your glade is safe again. The goblins won't be doing anything else. Except fertilizing your herbs, perhaps. Excellent, excellent. I've got a small reward for you. Here, take it. What are you doing out here? I'm gathering herbs. Want some? Freshly picked. Effectiveness guaranteed. I'd like to take a look at your goods.
again. Got the leg? Here's your wooden leg. I guess I owe you a favor, don't I? Looks that way. Can you smuggle me over the bridge? Well, Darten and his men are there. Forget it. Then help me to get rid of Darton. Huh. <laughs> if I did, Murderer would be laughing and I'd end up looking a fool. But I'll make you a suggestion. I know where you can find an unclaimed money box. Get me the box, we'll share the contents and I'll help you get rid of Dartan. Tell me more about that money box. The overseer at that old mine used to pay his workers in gold from that box. But that day, the entrance to the mine collapsed and the overseer and his money box were buried under tons of bloody rubble. Fair enough. Yeah? You'll do it? I'll get the money box for you. But how do I get into the mine when the entrance has collapsed? Well, that is the problem. Talk to Digger about it. He used to be the alchemist in the mine. Where can I find him? Probably somewhere close to the mine. The entrance is on the west side of Og's Rock. <laughs>